said you said they have a pretty cool house here. A lot of people showed up. It's more of a craft show. There's some art here. It's probably oil paint, more of a craft show. The craft is really beautiful. I consider it art. You know, and all these people really enjoyed it and having a good time making a little money on the side there, you know. But uh, I think they had a pretty good turnout here. Looks like a lot, a lot of people are here. The lady just showed us that lady with it once to do a little thing with her. Let me do this lady on the end with the, the portrait. The Marine guy there came to see the show. It looks like maybe World War II. That's possibly for real. Anyway, a lot of, a lot of nice art here. I think we're going to wrap it up pretty soon here. I have another artist on here named Michael Chavez. He does uh, gores too. And you also do jewelry, Michael. That's pretty nice looking stuff you have here, especially this one up here with the bear. That's really pretty unique. It looks like it took a lot of time to do that, huh? Yeah, there's plenty of hours into these. That, that's a pretty unique piece. Yeah, this is a, a multi sided. Oh, wow, it's really nice. You know, the uh, the smaller one next to it, that, it, that's a really, really incredibly detailed. Do you do all that detail? Yes, I do. Wow, that's really, really nice. You must have a really a lot of patience and a steady hand. Yeah, it does. It's, it's also a multi-sided also. Oh, is it? If you want to take a look here. Yeah. It's pretty neat. So how long does something like that take you? Uh, this one's approximately 40 hours. Well, that's a lot of time. Oh, the one with the like That seemed like a pretty reasonable price for that 40 hours. Well, well I've had them appraised at a lot higher. I can imagine. That kind of intricate work. You have some nice ones down here, too. Yes. And I see you have some jewelry over here. Yes. And that jewelry is really incredibly priced. It's reasonable. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, right at Valentine's Day, a great time, huh? Yes, so some of you wear. Are you on the internet? Do you have a website? No, I don't. But do you have a phone number or anything I want to give out? To tell people where you're at or how to get a hold of you? Uh, you can. You see some of these bear stuff in here. It's pretty neat, you know, pretty nice stuff. But anyway, uh, some people really have a lot of time, a lot of crafts, and just, you know. But everybody's trying to, you know, do something creative and make a living out of it. So it should turn out really good. Okay, you can get a hold of me yeah. at the phone number of. 928-300-0930. Your name? Michael Chavez. Michael Chavez. Well, thanks a lot, Michael Chavez, and have a great day. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. From jewelry to sweaters over here. And how long have you been doing this, Pat? Oh, about five years. About five years. Really, it's really beautiful stuff. Thank you. And it's, it's, it's pretty good timing for Valentine's Day, huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the sweaters back here, they're pretty, pretty colorful and pretty unique. So you just, uh, you just do this for a hobby? I'm trying to make a living at it. Oh, I love to, I love to bead. I always say I bead during the day and knit at night. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay, let me get, get give you a phone number out again. Okay. 928-649-9076. You call this a certain name. What's the name of this? Creative Design. Creative Design. And you do have a business card, huh? I do. Okay, good. I'll have to take one for it. Well, good luck and have a great day. Well, thank you so much for stopping. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, since I'm here at the museum, I'll take, take some pictures. The Clemson Museum here in Cottonwood, Arizona, is pre-1800 stuff in here. Pretty unique stuff in here, isn't it? Look at that old phonograph. Can you imagine? They couldn't even comprehend back then digital. It's pretty neat the museum. A little walk through here. Pretty neat. Pretty unique. Walk this way a little bit. 
bit. Look at this thing. That's a pretty neat hat. Huh? The train set. Oh, shoot. There he is. I have Dave Maple, and he's one of the board members for the Arkansas Human Resume here in Cottonwood, Arizona. So how long have you been on the board, Dave? I've forgotten, but I think it's been about it uh, six years. Six years, huh? Yeah. It's really quite a unique museum. It has a lot of things to offer. I mean, it's a lot. It, all this stuff came from Cottonwood, Arizona? We only keep things from the Verde Valley. This is oh, really? the Verde Historical Society. Oh, okay. So anything in the Verde Valley is of mm -hmm. interest to us. Oh, that's fine. That's fantastic. Some of these pieces, uh, I, I don't know what that is. What is that anyway? Okay, that's the grist mill. And that's not a copy or anything. That's the actual grist mill. What did that do? It was here in about 1880. 1880. And they had a, the irrigation canal called the Cottonwood Ditch runs down through the lower side of Cottonwood. Mm. And there was a water wheel in the irrigation ditch. When the water flowed through the irrigation ditch, it turned the wheel. The bottom pulley down there had a belt going to the water wheel, and you put grain in the top. It came down a few grains at a time. There's a stationary stone and a turning stone, and it hmm. ground the meal. Well, that's pretty amazing. Things were really kind of uh, prehistoric, weren't they, back then? I mean, <laughs> as far as as far as the manufacturing, you know, they just put it together pretty neat. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, but this, you can actually see how everything worked. Oh you know, yeah. The stone turned the stone inside the. The housing was the turning stone, and the one that you can see is the stationary stone. Yeah. As it worked its way between these two stones, it was ground, and it came down the slot off to the left there as cornmeal. And I can see below that they have some bunch actually did use stone to mill that, the corn. Yeah, that's, that's that the was way that, the Indians. That's the way the Indians. That, that's probably the beginning of it somehow. So they don't. Anyway, we're having a pretty good day, a good turn up for the craft show. And this train thing is pretty incredible here too. I so see you have a train engineer in there, huh? Yes, go in and talk to him. And this this is uh, one of the really fine displays. Yeah, I thought it was But well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be able to talk. Have talk a good day. Have a good day, Dave. Thank you.